All right, what's up guys? Um, today's gonna be kind of a different video. So it's August 1st, I believe. Um, and today would mark my one year, today's the one year mark for, you know, my lifting career, my lifting journey or whatever, you know. So I've been going to the gym for about a year now. Um, and I was just gonna pretty much tell you guys some things that I've learned and I think would be helpful, helpful to some new gym goers. Um, so I don't really have a list, um, but basically for the plan today is I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna do my squat, bench, deadlift, and that's it, that's all I'm gonna go for. I just wanna see my stats. Um, I don't do much, I don't do powerlifting that often much. That's what I'm gonna do when I go to the gym and then I'm just gonna do that and leave. Um, maybe I'll go later the first, second time to get my actual uh, workout in. But yeah, pretty much, um, so all I wanted to say was thank you first to everyone who's supported me throughout this one year span and obviously many more years to come because I'm not just gonna stop here. Um, I'm gonna plan on continuing to obviously grow this channel and grow my following and stuff like that. Maybe one day get a sponsor, we don't know. Um, everything is uncertain right now and all I can really do is just you know keep going forward and uh, hope and pray that everything goes goes well, you know? And if it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, so be it. But um, yeah, so uh, I guess first thing that uh, I think um, is pretty crucial um, and something you should know when you first get into lifting is things that are outside of the gym, you know, um, whether that be, you know, problems, your sleep schedule, your diet, you know, like don't think that, oh, if I train, 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 in the gym that, you know, it's, and I eat like crap or I sleep like crap or I don't do anything, you know, outside of that, then you're, you're gonna make as much progress as the guy who's dieting, sleeping well and going to the gym, you know, you're not gonna be able to compete with that guy. So I think uh, one thing that I didn't do was I didn't focus on the things that were outside of the gym, like, like my sleeping schedule and my diet. So, but yeah. So, you know, focus on your diet, focus on your sleep. And if there's anything that could be interfering with your progress, you know, deal with it because you'll thank yourself later. Um, yeah, let me see. Let me think of something else that could be super helpful. Another thing I think would be useful um, when you're lifting is taking the time in between your sets. You know, um, I'm sure you guys have heard it. Um, I know JPG said it a bunch of times. He said um, he said three minutes, two minutes to three minutes between your sets is pretty good. I think it's super helpful because it's like, how are you gonna do another set right after your the one you just did and your muscles and your, you know, your body isn't at its full capacity, you know? Um, you're not training to your hardest because your body is still slightly fatigued from your previous set. So give yourself the time, sit down, you know, don't go on your phone, I don't say don't go on your phone. Just sit down, think about your next set and uh, think about the things you wanna accomplish in that set, whether it be you know, a slight, you know, touch to your form to make it a little better, or, you know, maybe add a little more weight. I don't know, however, whatever makes you feel comfortable, you know, but um, just take the time in between your sets. Two or three minutes should be good. Um, And yeah, and I think that uh, that will definitely help you if you're, if your plan is to, you know, grow and obviously build your strength and grow as a physique, physical physique, um, then I think that resting in between your sets is super crucial. And everyone needs to hear it because some people will jump set, 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 set. And it's really not, it's not going to go well for them if they just, you know, keep doing that um, throughout their lifting career, whatever. Um, another thing that is super crucial um, when it comes to lifting is, bro, did I forget? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. So another thing that's super crucial to uh, to uh, lifting, right. So I think a lot of people underestimate the weight they can do when they're lifting and they don't just put a little more and really train their body to really push itself and really struggle to get those last two or one rep in. You know, I think that after every set, I wanna be like, oh shit, okay, that was a good set. Now let me chill out. Do, go again for the next one, you know? A lot of people just do their set, sit down, mm -hmm, and then they go to their next one. You know, you really wanna be pushing yourself. If you think, if you get out of the gym and you think, man, I could go again, 
you did not, you did, you didn't work out right, you know? You don't want to be, you know, I guess, content and being like, oh, like, oh, I feel great, you know? You want to be like feeling like shit when you get at the gym, you know? Like your body hurts, your body's aching, you need, you know, food, you need to drink some, some water. You know, that's, that's how I, you know, when I know, that's how I know when I have a good gym session, when I get out at the gym and I'm, my body's like super fatigued. Um, but yeah. Okay. So, you know, not knowing where to start as a whole. So me personally, to someone who asked me, where do I start? This is what I would tell them. This is what I would tell them. If you were to come ask me and say, Marlon, where would I start? I want to start going to the gym. Where do I start? Just start, just do it. And I know you're probably like, well, I don't know what to do when I go to the gym. What do I work out? Like what in what routine? What do I do? Bro, just go to the gym. Just start doing shit that you think is going to freaking help you. That's, that's, that's how everyone else had to figure out. You know, like you go to the gym, you just start doing things and then you start getting the hang of it. You know, you're like, okay, well, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. I should try this instead. Oh, how about actually let me start making a routine for myself because that, that is probably the only way that you'll be able to, you know, find your set of exercises and come up with the routine that is best fit for yourself. I can't give you my routine because it's like, what if what your body will probably react differently to some exercises. Some people prefer these exercises. Some people prefer these exercises, you know, um, they see more growth with these and they see more growth, growth with these. They see less with this and less with that. So I'm not saying that my routine will help anybody, but it's better to just figure it out, kind of, you know, learn along the way and take those small steps. And you'll eventually get there, you know, and it'll be a lot better because you'll have your own knowledge and it won't be people just giving you their own experiences. You know, you're going to have to experience it and be like, OK, this is this. This is that. This is what I think is comfortable. This is what I think is going to help me grow. I like this. I like that. I don't like this. I don't like that. This hurts me this way. This hurts me that way, you know, and you'll be able to have a more customized routine and it'll be a lot more comfortable for you, you know. Um, so yeah, the pretty much just start going to the gym, man. Start doing things that even if you think it might help you, whatever, just start doing stuff, you know? Um, start watching videos online. There's just watch people lift, you know, you're gonna start learning. It's not like rocket science, man. So you just you just gotta go and do it, you know? Just do it. Um, but yeah, the, the more you do it, the more you're gonna learn and it's just gonna be a lot easier for you in the future. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that wasn't too much talking. I'm probably gonna go to the gym right now and see what we're looking like. I'm not too confident to be honest, but uh, also right now I'm gonna see how much I weigh, see how much we weigh, I weigh right now, not we, um, see how much I weigh right now. We're gonna go to the gym and then we're gonna see what, what we're at right now. So yeah. All right, Let's see how much, wait, I have to put my phone down. Put you right here. One thirty five point eight. All right, so about one thirty six.
honestly, bro, from my expectations, I did absolutely dog shit. Not gonna lie. But it's okay, because I look somewhat presentable in terms of my physique. But, yeah, that didn't go as planned. I actually did pretty good on my squat. I could have gotten more. I could have gone up. I could have done, I don't know how, many, how much I did. I think I did like 245. I could have done like 250 or 255. But, nah, I, I, I didn't. I was like, nah, bro, just move on to deadlift. Um, my previous deadlift PR was 360. Now it's 325 which is super disappointing. So, um, and my bench, also super disappointing. It's at 185 and it hasn't changed, but there is no buts, bro. That was just absolutely shit. So yeah, I'm sitting in my car in utter disappointment, but uh, I guess we're just gonna have to start benching squat or I do squat, you know, somewhat often um, and deadlifting more. But I don't really, I like benching, but I don't really like deadlifting all that much. I mean, it's fun and all, picking up heavy ass weight and then dropping it, I guess. Benching is cool, but I don't, I never bench. I do incline bench. I just don't like do, you know, one rep maxes or powerlifting or my compound movements. I don't really touch on that. I just do my accessory movements. Um, so I guess that's only re the really but there is, but it's still super disappointing. Um, but yeah, so I guess, we're gonna be touching up on that, get a little stronger. Um, I'm sitting at 135, so I guess that's pretty good for my weight class. Yeah, so uh, I hope you guys enjoy, bro. I did not enjoy that, but uh, yeah, I will see you guys later. Ah!